Good evening, everybody. Welcome one more time. I sincerely appreciate all of you for coming. I appreciate you all greatly. Thank you so much for taking your time to um, attend the uh, attending for you to take your time to attend this program. I really appreciate this. It's not really easy. Despite um, activities of the day, we oh, are here today. Thank you so much. Now, what exactly are we doing for today? You'll be wondering. What are we doing for today? Today, we are looking at peeps, lots, leverage, brokers, platforms and charting softwares, types of traders. And what kind of traders are we looking at? Swing, day, position, scalp. They will now dive into technical analysis. Then, if time permits, we look into candle charts, candlesticks, trends, indicators. Please, I'll say something tonight. We are going to be having, I, I might be sent two links to you today. Why? Because the class will be elaborate in a way. Peeps and leverage and lots. They are really going to take our time. So I need you all to be very, very, very what? patient. Are you with me? Okay. So I uh, will you just need to take uh, if it's if it requires me sending another link, I will let you know. If it requires me sending another link, I will let you know. So let's start. Now coming to this place, the question now is. What exactly is a P? What exactly is a P? Now, so just give me a minute, please. Just give me a minute. I'm sure everybody can smash so What's a P? A PIP represents, is simply known as point in percentage. A PIP is simply known as what? Point in percentage. And it represents a tiny measure of the change. It represents a tiny measure of the change in the currency pair in the forest market. It can be measured in terms of the quotes or in terms of the underlying currency. Determining your profits and losses is an essential part of trading. So let's take a closer look at how peeps are spread factors in this equation. Now, class, I made my research. I was meant to understand that a peep or peep comes from this simple calculation. If you have one over 100, times. One of hundred one times one is what one hundred times hundred is what ten thousand. Now, do your mathematics very well. One divided by ten thousand is what zero point zero 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 one. Usually, what I have done, you can see it as 0 0.0001, let's say 6. This one you see is called a P. It's called one P. Why this other one you see is called a pipette, 6 pipette. Now, the one peep you see, class, is as a result of what? Just normal calculations that has been made previously. And that pipette you see, class, you have no business with that pipette. I always tell people something that the pipette is meant for the brokers. 
The prepared is what meant for the brokers. So you have no business with what to the prepared. Now, thank God yesterday I taught you some things on exchange rates. Thank God yesterday I taught you some things on what exchange rates. So let's say, for instance, I give you a simple classwork. And I tell you that class, let's say I tell you that class 1.20. I tell you that 1.20. 854. And I tell you to add just two pips to this. Before I even proceed, your pip is always recognized at the fourth value, like 0 0.001. So it is recognized from the fourth value. The fourth value is one, two, three, four. The fourth value is what? This last one you are saying. So your pip should be recognized at five. Are you think? Your pip should be recognized. So if I tell you that, Mr. Gabriel, you have an exchange rate. Add three pips to this. Mr. Gabriel is supposed is expected to add his value at the fourth value, which is one, two, three, four. So Mr. Gabriel will come here and add four to five. So when you add four to five, do your mathematics, that is four. Four plus five is, four plus, uh, five plus four is of nine. Eight comes down. Zero comes down, two comes down, point one. So Mr. Gabriel successfully added four pips to what? This exchange rate. He successfully added what? Four pips to what? That exchange rate. So what if I tell, class, let me raise this. This is getting rough. What if I tell Mr. Elvis? At 1.20854. I tell Mr. Elvis to add nine pips to this exchange rate. Mr. Elvis is expected to look. Ah, nine pips. That will be one, two, three, four. So nine pips will give you what? Just come and add nine to this five. So adding nine to five, four comes down. Five plus nine is what? 14. Who are here? Nine, zero, two, point what? One, you see? So that would be what? 1.20944. That would be what? 1.20944. So that's that. What if I tell Madame Ruth to add 10 pips to that same exchange rate? I tell Madame Ruth to add 10 pips to that exchange rate. It is expected that she will come here and put one and zero. Why? Because you know in school we did what they call units, tens and hundred. What it means is I have nine, then ten. Sorry, let me use one. What it means is I have one. I have one zero. I have hundred. Are you with me? So that's one, one zero. One one zero hundred. Are you with me? So that is that is now adding ten pips. Four comes down. Five plus zero is what five. 
8 plus 1 is what 9. 0 comes down. 2 comes down. Point what? 1. Are you with me? So once it comes down, it means that you have something like this. Are you with me? So 10 peeps are successfully the what? Added to that exchange rate. 10 peeps as what? Successfully been added to that exchange rate. Now I have a class up for everybody and you have just two minutes to do this please. On this exchange rate you have, I want everybody to add 30 pips to this. Are you with me? On this same exchange rate, I want everybody to add 30 pips to this. Please use the chat box. I'm giving you just two minutes. So by 8.21, I should have my answers. Thank you, I'm coming. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, answers, answers. Class, the question is, add 30 pips to this exchange rate. We have one minute to go. Okay, you can mute yourself and speak. All right, time up, time up, time up. 30 pips to that exchange rate. Will just be three and zero, just the way I added them. So that'll be what four comes down, five plus zero is what five, eight plus three is what one, you put one here, one plus zero is what that's ten, you put zero. Oh, hold on, okay, sorry, one plus zero is what one, thank you, one plus zero is one. If that's one, then two comes to join you. Point one. So that's that. That's how to add 30 pips to the exchange rate. Now, the next thing is, the next thing is, let me talk about CHF JPY. CHF JPY are pairs that adds business with two with the second value. I repeat, Japanese years are pairs that have business with what? The second value. What am I saying? You see that one I just explained to you that the fourth value at the, from the decimals, that can be applied to all other currency Forex pairs. That can be applied to all other what? Forex pairs. But for Japanese yen, pairs, you can have CHFJPY. You can have Euro JPY.
you can now card JPY. Now, class, all these JPY pairs you see, they are they have a particular formula, one over ten times one over ten. One times one is what one. Ten times ten is what hundred. One divided by hundred is what zero point zero one. Let's say you have 0 0.012. This one is called 1P. And the two is called what? Two pipettes. It's very similar to what we said about the previous one. That one is called 1P. The other one is called what? A pipette. Now, let's say I have an exchange rate. And the exchange rate is usually all those Japanese pairs. The exchange rate is something like this. If you think we are lying or I'm lying, we can practicalize it right now. You see, I'll tell you to Google CHF to Naira and I'll tell you to Google Japanese to Naira. And when we do the mathematics, you see it's the same with what something of such. Let's say I want to add two pips to this. I will add the two pips to the one, two. Two people are here. So three comes down. Four plus two is six. Zero is here. Point what? One, one, five. I think this. So I've had successfully added what? Two peeps to this. But what if I want to add now, class? Please, I need you to do this. What if I tell you to add 10 peeps to this or 20 peeps? What will be the answer? Please use the chat box, class. What if I take to add 20 pips to that? I'm giving you just two minutes, please. Nobody is even responding. Hello, Mr. Gabriel, please unmute yourself. Okay, if you know you understand what's happening in this class, can you just type five in the chat box so that I can move on, please? If you understand what's happening in this class, just type five in the chat box. Mr. Gabriel, please unmute yourself. You understand, mm -hmm. but I told you to put 20 pips and there's no response. Hello? Hello? Yes, add yes. 20 pips to this what you add here. Okay, Madam Ruth. I add, uh, yes, I added 10 pips. What did you get? I got on 10, 10 pips. So what I get? got, mm -hmm. what I got is a theory for 1.511. Please, can you come again? Yes, I said I added 10 peaks to it. Uh -huh. so, so what, what I got get? is, I got one one, uh -huh. five point one four three. One one. Five point one four three. Point, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for that. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So that's that. 
Please, let's go to the next thing, please. The next one is Lot. Lot represents the size of your trade in forex. In another interpretation, Lot is the number of currency units you will trade in forex. Now, there are four types of lots. The standard lots, the mini lots, and the micro lots. I repeat, there are four types of lots. The standard lots, the mini lots, micro lots, in fact, there is a nano lot. But once you're about me, I don't like to talk about the nano lot because the nano lot is not of much relevance. It's not uh, important. I hate it. So that's why I don't really like talking about it. The nano lot. And the nano lot is more or less like when you say 0 0.00003 zeros before values. So I don't like going into the nano lot. But there's something I'll do. Let's go to my screen. Let's say Miss Madame Ruth has $100. And Juma calls me and tells me that what would be a lot size in the forest market. What I'll tell her is I'll tell her that 100, 100 divided by 10,000. Zeros cancel zeros. One divided by 100 is what? 0 0.01. If one by 100 is 0 0.01, this is what? The micro lot. This is a micro lot. Are you with me? One divided by, uh, sorry, 100 divided by 10,000 is what? Uh, 0 0.01. Now, Let's say Mr. Gabriel has $2,000. by $2, $10,000. Zeros cancel zeros. So this is what? Zero point, I would have used 1,000. So I don't get confused. That's 0 0.1. So this is called what? A mini lot. This is called a mini lot. I eat it. So with a mini lot, it means that you now let me say something. It means that it will be so easy for you to want to trade in the forest market. Now, let's say I have something like Mr. Evis, for instance, has ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand by by ten thousand. This is one. So this is what a standard lot.
Now, class, you cannot compare the profit you have for a micro lot to a mini lot. And you cannot also compare the profit you have for a mini lot to a standard lot. Are you okay? It's not possible to get that. So the profit here, the very, it's just like when you tell somebody that you are investing 500,000 into a business, and another person, you are investing 200,000 naira into a business. There's a great difference. Are you with me? So that's exactly what this forex trading is all about. You see that? All right. So let's proceed. Please, is there any question so far? What I've done so far? What I've done this way? Any question on what I've done on the screen? The next one is leverage. Leverage results from using borrowed capital as a funding source when investing to expand to things, asset base, and generate returns risk. Leverage is an investment strategy of using borrowed money. Is that okay? Is an investor of using borrowed money? I hate me. Now, Mr. Elvis, ask your question, please. Drop your question on the chat box. Yeah. Okay. Go on, go on, Mr. Elvis. I'm listening. Now, leverage is more or less like brokers will come to you. Mr. Gospar, we know you don't have money. You have hundred dollars. Can you please, can you please, um, can we give you a leverage? What does leverage mean? It means that if, for instance, I have hundred dollars, Brokers will tell me they'll give me a ratio of what? 500 to one. Now, you know what this means? It means that ratio of 500 to one simply means that 100 times 500, that's What this means that to you in real life, you see that hundred dollars is what you have in forex. But in the forex firm, the brokers have boosted your money to what fifty thousand dollars. But do they do this for free? No, they don't do this for free. The brokers usually have a small commission they charge. Usually have this. Uh, before the charge, how you doing? So that's level. Let me take another example so that it's clear. If Madame Ruth, for instance, has two hundred dollars in the forest map, she wants to put in forex. Let's say she goes with the leverage of five hundred to one. That means that. 200 times 500 is what? $100,000. So, to Madame Ruth, what she has is $200. But on the other hand, what the same or what the financial institute see is $100,000. Like I said, see, let me tell you something you don't know today. The higher your capital, the more the commission brokers you charge you. But don't be afraid. If you are going to be consistent to this training, I will tell you the bouquet or the package you can register. I will tell you the package you can register, whereby the commission will not be much. Are you thinking? Rather, the brokers will only charge you on your spread. Are you, are you thinking? So that's that. 
this time is almost elapsing. I want to send you another link. But before I send another link, I want to respond to a question. Please, do we have to do this calculation before trading this lot size? Yes. You have to do this calculation before you apply this lot size. You get it. You have to do this calculation before you what? You apply this lot, this lot size. Now, I want to say something, class. Please, I want to send you another link. I want to beg everybody for something. Please, I'm not saying this is the end of the class. In exactly 10 minutes time, 8.48 to 8.50. I repeat, 8.48 to 8.50. I will drop under link. The reason being that I want to convert this first video so that I can drop the recorded version. So when it's 8.48, 8.50, I will send you another link. Please, once I drop the link, I need you all to connect immediately. Because once I enter the class, I'm starting immediately. I have an advanced class I need to attend to, please. Thank you very much. So see you 8.50.